Isn't it amazing that we have turned this into this? It's difficult to believe that this is the same dam we saw on this site during the drought. The water level had got so low with constant stock access that the water quality was really becoming unpalatable to livestock. There was a lot of mud around the edges and at times access had to be restricted due to the boggy conditions. All we've done here is fence this area off to livestock and the improvement is just unbelievable. We're on the Merriwell Plateau in the Upper Hunter Valley in a grassy box gum woodland. Local Land Services is running the Paddock Between the Ears project in this area, which is funded through the Australian Government's Future Drought Fund. We're looking at building drought resilience in the local community. And one of our activities is setting up eco-action sites around the area, just like this one. Today we're at the Gundabri Eco Action Site, which we last visited 12 months ago. At that time, stock had access 24-7 to this dam. And it's just amazing to look at the difference over the last 12 months since we've re-fenced two hectares around this area. This has included the dam behind me and the inflow on the upper side. The difference is that water flowing across the landscape now has a natural filtration system coming through the plains grass. No longer are there bare, overgrazed and eroded gully lines leading into the dam and the water quality has just improved out of sight. The dam obviously has had a number of large rainfall events over the last 12 months which have been perfect for revegetating the area. But this is now a great example of what you can do on your own farm. Cattle can be introduced to keep the weeds down and to graze excess grasses. It's a good idea not to leave them in this area permanently, now you have it fenced off, but just make it part of your overall rotation of paddocks. Our water line runs straight past this dam that feeds the stock water system from the bore. So we can easily run a suction line across to the dam should it need to supplement water supply during a drought, for example. We also have located the gate directly adjacent to this side of the dam. So it's quite easy to set up a laneway system for stock to access the water directly if there was some pump breakdown and also for a water tanker or fire tanker to access during an emergency. Before putting a program like this in place, it's great to do an assessment over your property. Review all your existing farm dams, your creek lines, your water holes, and just assess which one of these are critical to the operation of your property and where they could be better managed. This dam here is just an example of how you can rethink your farm dam management in the landscape without doing a great deal of change. The whole idea of these eco-action sites is for landholders and community members from across our region to come along and see for themselves small doable projects that they can put into action on their properties. We'll be holding events over the next 12 months at these sites where you can come and check out what we've done. Contact Local Land Services for more information at your local office to find out what eco-action sites are available in your area in the Hunter.